Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Google has released the second beta for the Android P update coming later this year. So I wanna go ahead and talk about everything that's new, including information about the number. It's going to be Android 9, I'll show you why in just a second, but they haven't actually talked about what Android P is going to be. Throw some comments what you think it's gonna be down below. Also, quick shout out, my buddy Adam, it's his birthday today, happy birthday. Also, Game Grooms FTW on Reddit says he enjoys the update videos, so thank you. I appreciate that support. I do have the second beta running on my Google Pixel 2 right here. I also have videos on the previous versions of Android P. I'll link to them down in the description. Be sure to check them out because we're going to talk about everything that's new from the previous version. First of all, I'd like to jump into settings and show you why I'm saying it is Android 9. I will go to System Update right here. And you'll see my system is up to date, Android version 9. I'm guessing when the official update's released, they're going to add a dot zero afterwards. But there is Android 9. Also, absolutely nothing has changed about the Easter egg screen. It is still just a P, very colorful. You can pinch to zoom. Pretty trippy, Google. So the gesture system at the bottom has stayed the same. You do have a swipe up gesture to get to your recent apps. However, it's a little bit different. I want to make note of the aesthetic. So when you start to swipe up, you'll see it's just a continuous motion and the suggested apps and search bar have a very slight outline there that you can see and swipe all the way up. Also, when you are in an app and you swipe up from the bottom button, you'll see that you can continuously swipe to get to that app drawer as well while you're in an app. And finally, Google has added a dark mode. All you have to do is jump into settings, go to display, and no, I'm just kidding. There's no dark mode. I've also noticed the animation when switching between apps quickly is just a little bit slower, which actually makes it feel a little bit smoother, not as choppy. Uh, and also when I go ahead and swipe up and scroll, you can scroll real, I believe a little bit faster, it might be placebo. And if you make notes, if you swipe all the way over, there's a clear all button. So if you press that, all of the apps go away from your recent list. It shows no recent items. The next change is actually very amusing and I have the old beta running on my Pixel 2 XL. If I go into display settings advanced and I wanna change the screen colors, the image that was used here isn't colorful. So when you actually switch, you don't really notice any difference whatsoever, which is hilarious if you ask me. And then now they finally updated that screen to go to advanced and if I go into colors, there's actually colors that you can look at to kind of test and see the differences. And I could show those off right now. Go to natural, boosted, or saturated. So you will see a little bit more of a difference as opposed to an image that doesn't have color. Noteworthy is on the always on display, you will see some weather information. It was a little sporadic in the last beta, but it seems to be very consistent in this beta. A question that a lot of people asked is, how is Snapchat on this update? It wasn't very stable in the last beta, but it seems to be just fine for me. I can take pictures, things seem to be running just fine. Also, they added, I believe, over 150 new emojis. So you'll have to scroll through and find all the new ones or just go to their web, the emoji website to kind of see all the new ones that they added. But uh, there are some updates to some and there's new ones. If I go into system and gestures, that is where the swipe up on home button lies, where if I untick it, it will actually just reactivate that overview button. So I can still use that if I would like to. Otherwise, it just has the swipe up on the home button action. And I do like the gestures. I think they will continue to improve them throughout the beta. I do like the nice addition to how smooth it feels when swiping up on the app drawer and just the one swipe gesture while in an app. I think that was a, a really nice addi addition that you can get to the app drawer straight from an app. Finally, I believe I saw they gave a name to when you uncheck auto rotate and it's called rotation lock. And this is one of the better features coming to Android P is when you start to rotate your display, if you have it on rotation lock, an icon down here will show up. And if you tap it, it will actually rotate your display. And then if you go back, it will stay locked on that orientation. And then if I go ahead and tap this, it will rotate it over to the next orientation. So overall, that's just about everything I want to talk about for Android 9 P. Uh, beta 2. A uh, long list, but uh, more to come with these updates. I will do a full review once the official update comes out, so stay tuned for that. So be sure you are subscribed so you're notified. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.